Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the process of transcription. Transcription is the process of formation of RNA from DNA. So DNA is being used to produce RNA. RNA can be of three types, rRNA, tRNA or rRNA. Now this RNA which is being produced from the DNA is known as the transcript. Transcript. So transcription is the process of formation of a transcript from DNA that is the genetic material of the organism. This whole process is catalyzed by the enzyme known as RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase. Now you need to remember that this RNA polymerase does not require any primer. So there is no primer requirement at all. There is no primer requirement. As we all know, the DNA replication process requires a primer which is used by the DNA polymerase to synthesize the new strand of the DNA. But RNA polymerase does not require any primer. So it synthesizes RNA that is the transcript from the DNA independent of the primer or any other sequence. This whole process of transcription is unidirectional. What does unidirectional means? That the RNA is being pro uh, produced only in a single direction that is from 5 dash to 3 dash end. This is also known as 5 prime to 3 prime end. Now you all need to know that there are two conditions. One is monocystronic condition. Mono cystronic condition while the another one is known as the polycystronic condition. Monocystronic and polycystronic. Now this monocystronic condition is found in eukaryotes. It is found in eukaryotes and this only means that there is just one gene which is being transcribed. So a single gene is being transcribed at a time. This condition is known as monocystronic condition. While in polycystronic condition which is found in prokaryotes, there are many genes which are attached to a single promoter and it is being transcribed. All the genes are being transcribed all together. So there is a set of genes which are being transcribed at a time. So you all need to know that monocystronic condition is specific to eukaryotes while polycystronic condition is specific to prokaryotes. Now another thing that you all need to remember is that the mRNA which is being produced is complementary to the DNA strands. So it is complementary complementary to the DNA and that strand of DNA to which the mRNA is complementary is known as the template strand. Template strand. So there are two strands of DNA. So if we draw the DNA there are two strands with opposite polarity. Here the 3 dash to 5 dash end, this strand is known as the template strand. While the another strand is known as the coding strand of the DNA. Now what happens is this template strand is used in the manufacturing of the mRNA. So the mRNA would have the sequence which is complementary to this template strand. While this mRNA sequence is identical to this coding strand of the DNA except that there would be U instead of T in the mRNA. 
so this coding strand is known as the sense strand so you all need to remember that the coding strand is also known as the sense strand or the positive strand it is denoted by a plus sign while the template strand is known as the anti sense strand anti sense strand and it is denoted by a negative sign this whole process is being carried out by the RNA polymerases and as those RNA polymerases are dependent on the DNA for the production of RNA, therefore those enzymes are also known as DNA dependent, DNA dependent RNA polymerases, DNA dependent RNA polymerases. Now let us discuss about the RNA polymerase structure of prokaryotes. So we are going to discuss the RNA polymerase structure in prokaryotes specifically. So it is very important to note that this RNA polymerase is a multi subunit enzyme. Multi subunit enzyme. So, what does this mean? This means that a single RNA polymerase consists of many subunits. Therefore, it is the multi subunit enzyme. It consists of many subunits made up of proteins. Now this enzyme consists of two major parts or components. One is known as the core enzyme and the another component is known as the sigma factor. Sigma factor. This core enzyme consists of the subunits known as alpha, beta, beta dash and omega. It is important to note that there are two alpha subunits involved in the, in the manufacturing of the core enzyme. The sigma factor is present in association with the core enzyme to complete the structure of a functional RNA polymerase in prokaryotes. Now what are the functions of all these subunits? So alpha subunit is involved in the assembly. assembly of the core enzyme beta and beta dash have a catalytic role catalytic role here means that they help in the synthesis of RNA they are the main units which show catalysis another subunit which is omega helps in the RNA RNA polymerase assembly so it helps to assemble all these subunits together RNA polymerase assembly and the last subunit that is the sigma factor helps in promoter recognition promoter recognition that is it recognizes the promoter sequence on the DNA template strand and thus helps in the initiation of transcription. Thus helps in the initiation of transcription. So the sigma factor basically acts as the initiator factor as it is initiating the whole process of transcription. Now there are other enzymes too which are known as RNA replicases, RNA replicases. Now how these enzymes differ from the RNA polymerases that we have just discussed. These RNA replicases basically replicate the existing RNA strand. So these are also known as RNA dependent RNA dependent RNA polymerases. 
so what are these doing these are just replicating the existing rna strands so they are using rna to manufacture new strands of rna these enzymes are functional in viruses rna viruses such as f2 r17 viruses these are the rna viruses which consists of rna genome so they use rna replicases to replicate their rna genome this uh, process of replication is also being carried out unidirectionally that is from the 5 dash end to the 3 dash end of the template strand it is important to note here that the template strand here is the rna not the dna so it is the rna which is acting as the template strand not the rna uh, dna now let us discuss about the prokaryotic promoter structure prokaryotic prokaryotic promoter structure so if we talk about the promoter which is found in the prokaryotes it consists of two major regions that is minus 10 and minus 35 sequences these sequences are of six base pair each so this minus 10 region also contains six base pair and minus 35 also contains six base pairs only six base pair regions if we talk about the minus 10 sequence then it is known as the pribno box pribno ya pribnau box the consensus sequence of this pribno box is t a t double a t it is also known as tata box because here you can see that the first four letters are t a t a first four nucleotides is this clear now this pribno box functions with this minus 35 sequence that is t t g a c a these sequences are consensus sequences that is they are mostly common between all the prokaryotic promoter sequences now it is important to note that there is also presence of another sequence that is known as the up element these sequences are specific to prokaryotes up element what is this up element means this up denotes the upstream promoter element upstream in the sense that it is present upstream to the promoter major promoter region which is carrying out the initiation process so it is the upstream promoter element as it is present at the upstream region of these two sequences this upstream element consists of 40 to 60 nucleotides so there are 40 to 60 nucleotides and this upstream promoter element helps in the interaction with the alpha subunit alpha subunit of the rna polymerase so the alpha subunit of the rna polymerase binds to this upstream element of the prokaryotic promoter so that the whole process of transcription can be carried out i hope these basics about transcription are clear to all of you in the coming videos we are going to discuss the whole process of transcription from initiation to the termination so stay tuned and thanks a lot i hope you like this video in english if you want me to make videos bilingually or only in Hindi then please comment down below.